on the home stretch of installing our lap automatic drinker. We got our two-inch line run over there, branched off. Put a hydrant in there so we'd have water here close to our water, and then we've continued our picks right over into our insulated box, which is four feet tall. Runs down into the ground there. Got our water line centered in there. Put our concrete form around it for our pad. Put the water up. The cows will have endless fresh water. Alright, so we got our concrete forms up. We got the our thermal tube buried. Old Pex wants to try to curl up. When we attach it, it'll be standing straight up in the middle, not touching any of the walls. It's actually amazing how warm it is in that tube. Uh, just trapping that ground heat, it feels like it's 10, 15 degrees warmer than it is outside. About, what, 42, 44 degrees today here. Um, but uh, cloudy, and we're kind of fighting the mud trying to get this done before the next big freeze. Ready to pour our concrete. Uh, this should take about a dozen sacks of quick creep to pour a five and a half, six inch thick slab. Be pretty much level with the top of our treated box there. And uh, then we'll attach our water to that, make our final water connections. Our water will be mounted then at the intersection of four different paddocks here in our pasture. And it's supposed to be nine degrees here in a couple of nights. So we've got just a small window to get this put in and we'll get it put to the test with some nine degree weather and, and see how it does. All right, so we've got our slab poured. It's still a little green, but again, we're rushing to beat the weather. So we're going ahead. Our box was a little bit proud sticking up out of it, so we trimmed that so the water sit down flat. We put rock and chat down all around our pad. It's actually helping a little with it being a muddy mess. So we've got the water, the lid off of it. Water pipe will come up through there, attached to the float valve through that hole. And this is the shortcut on the installation is to go ahead and uh, put your elbow and your adapter on there, shut off valve, and we did opt to replace the shut off valve just because we're using PEX. Um, go ahead and use a PEX shut off valve, adapted it straight into that elbow, and we'll attach it to our float valve. Uh, so again, there's the hole. You want to make sure you keep that wide open all the way down deep in the ground. That way that heat's keeping the water warm in the wintertime, cool in the summertime. And uh, so we're going to get the water mountain water mounted now we've attached our foam weather strip around the bottom of the water and then we'll also um, this is just a 10 foot coil of weather strip from your local lumber supply store uh, it's about three eighths of an inch thick that way it'll stop any air from seeping up under there and then we'll also put a heavy bead of silicone uh, around our tube and that way there's a tight seal between the bottom of the water and our box, uh, our thermal tube coming up out of the ground. So we'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so we got the water set, plumbing hooked up, super simple uh, connection there. If you measure from the top of your slab, 15 and a quarter inches to the center of that hole where the float valve goes in. And, uh, Go ahead and have your elbow and the adapter put on and it's just a matter of sticking it up there and threading your float valve through. We're going to have to wait a couple of days to put our anchor bolts in. We just rushed our concrete a little bit and it's just not set up enough to drill. We did try it in one place, but we're not going to let the cows in just yet. Let them start pushing on it, but we got it sealed off. Uh, we did make sure you purge your shavings out of your line. Uh, if you hook it up for the first time, turn the water on. Uh, you're always going to have a little bit of debris and stuff in your uh, water line. 
and it's going to go straight into the back of that float valve and um, and it's going to stop it up uh, you won't get near as much water flow so it's easy enough to take off and clean but you'll save yourself a lot of trouble if you'll purge that line before you hook it up real easy to adjust your water level right here just loosen that thumb screw and uh, move your float up and down this is the the highest you can get the water level obviously it's going to run back over and inside of uh, your thermal tube that runs down in the ground um, so we'll get it purged on out get the water uh, nice and clean in there and um, then we'll get the top on and we'll show you that part okay our lap energy free drinker for our, our uh, livestock cattle his uh, installation is complete we put the top back on and just for reference there's four um, screws around the outside one on each corner you can see them there and that's those four screws pop out take the cover off access the valve and everything if you want to shut it off you're not using it uh, it's real easy to pop that off takes just a second um, we don't have the cows opened up in here yet because it's not anchored and we don't want them pushing it around just want to show you how this works you've got these insulated discs and of course you've got the uh, the thermal tube underneath that's keeping approximately 55 degree air all around the base of these waters these are lined this is all made into the top so it sits down in there and you pull these discs out you probably can't see down in the bottom but the water actually fills from underneath so that water gets the benefit of the uh, thermal tube and the ground temperature keeping it from freezing these discs are filled uh, with uh, a urethane foam insulation that helps hold the heat in the water keep it from being cooled down by the air outside now there is uh, a little bit of a, a training spell with with your cattle teaching them to drink out of it because essentially what they're going to do is push down on the disc and they've got access to the water to drink too just 